Beware of the invader from space. Not to be confused with space invaders, obviously. This was sent over to me by a viewer called Colin. And Colin says... Finally closed my old Invaders from Space. It was an Xmas gift in the early 80s and I played it so much I used to max out the score. Really loud bleats which made it hard to play late at night when I should have been in bed. Found it in the loft but sadly it won't power on. Instead of sending it to landfill, I thought I'd send it your way to see what you can make of it. Thank you very much Colin. Now this arrived in my PO box the other day and when it did arrive I looked in and thought this looks familiar. And then I remember the legendary Kip Hakes doing a video on this a few weeks ago. Not this one, obviously. Uh, a different one. I presume. Anyway, so he's fixed one recently. I've never seen one before until then, and now I've seen two in a few weeks. Anyway, let's pop some batteries in. Seamless. Right, let's see if it works. Well, no, because it was already powered on. No, it does not. So it is, it's completely dead. Let's take it apart and let's see if we can figure out why. I mean, the battery contacts look absolutely pristine, so it's not going to be that. Big up to Colin, what you said is ace. Not space invaders, but invaders from space. Got no power, gotta be an easy fix. Think again, this most points that sticks. So let's steal road, the CD no fuss. Bringing us to the cooey jingers. Free your TV, give it a watch. He's still here, the badge of squatch. Tim House Magdeburg, top drawer. Hanging left, just like Adam Taylor. Titter, the Patreon machine. Right there with the Anthony Dean. That's a princess wizard, is this where it ends? Not quite, that's with the lead bends. Couldn't do this without your support And that off the hand grenades, HSG for short Infinity Lodger, John Mahler Stuart Cowles, Heisey Hall, Fox Cutter Markovitz 19, Chris Jenkins, Anna Flynn Mick Adams, B-Money, Oz Newton Alice Margatroyd, Kangle Burr, Stefan Wunsch Kill Switch, Jonathan Wakes, Ben Rush Fridges, Karen Hansen, Fitz Ferrier, yo The Monkey Joe, all the way from Tokyo Well, I didn't expect it to be so immaculate inside as well, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fix this. There's doesn't look like there's any wires loose. Oh, could it be this? I think that was the problem on Kips. So if it's the same problem, that would mean it's quite common, I imagine. Let's pop the batteries back in and let's see if we're getting any voltage around the place. Multimeter in voltage DC. So let's see if we have voltage here. <laughs> no, we do not. Do we have it here? Yes, we do. 6.7 volts. Do we have it down here? 6.7. Is it coming out of there? No, it is not. So the problem once again is this. Now, again, on Kip's video, he just removed this, I believe, and just hardwired it in. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and fix this up. Because that's the kind of guy I am. So let's take a closer look at this thing. So what's supposed to happen? The voltage goes to there and it's supposed to be passed through. Why would that fail though? So presumably when you put the barrel jack in, there must be some kind of a catch on there. Right, let's desolder this. I'm going to take a picture of it, desolder it. Let's have a closer look at it. We might have to get the microscope out. Right, let's take a closer look at this. I actually don't think the microscope is going to help me. Let's put the multimeter in continuity. So that's going through to there. And there. Wait, so if that's... That should have been passing the voltage through then. So there it's not. But there it is. There it's not. There it is. I think it might just need a clean. I'm just going to put a barrel jack in and see if I can simulate the barrel jack going in. And it should cut the contact between these two. At the moment it's there. But it wasn't a minute ago. Obviously this is not plugged in. I'm just using the 
jack. Right. So that's in there now. That should cut the contact between these two. And it does. So what is it that makes that happen? So again, we've not got continuity through there now. And that's without the barrel jack in. I'm just going to give it a good clean. Right, let's see if we've, uh, we've got that now. Yeah, I think that's all it is. I mean, it's it's quite a straightforward fault, isn't it? But it's an honest fault. This has come, you know, from Colin, who's had this in his loft. He's taken it out of the loft, and it's not worked. And from that, he's got two choices. He either throws it away, or he sends it to me. I suppose he's got three choices. Throw it away, try and fix it yourself, or send it to me. Having said all that, it might still not work. So before getting ahead of ourselves, Stephen, let's put it back together. It still doesn't work. <sighs> I got ahead of myself. And that's going to irritate the people who say, why do you always put it back together before you test it? I do it for the video. In this case, I wish I hadn't bothered. Okay, let's check voltage. Yeah, the vo voltage is getting there. All right, let's just try bridge in here. No. So we've got the voltage there and there. What's going on? Oh, no, here's me thinking this was going to be easy. So if we do that, we should have the voltage coming through to this point here. There we go, 6.4 volts, which then goes through to the board here, 6.35 volts. Then where does it go? We're going to have to take this board out. Right, so if we follow this round from there, it runs all the way up here. It goes to this point here, which is that capacitor there. Capacitor looks okay. Then where does it go? Right, I'm going to bypass the switch here. I'm going to solder that power wire to there so I can then follow the traces around. I can follow the power around the board, I should say. So that has now got six volts going into there. It's as if it's switched on. Right, let's see where the six volts goes. Oh, I'm confused. Now I'm not getting the voltage. I've just hardwired this in for now as well, by the way, just to eliminate that being a problem. But now I'm not getting the voltage here, and I'm, I'm massively confused. Because I was, like, literally ten minutes ago. What is going on? So we're getting continuity here, but not at the edge of the spring. Why not? All right, now we are. I'm just going to add a bit of blob of solder down there just to make sure that doesn't come loose again. Very odd. That should hold it. Right, let's try this again. Right, are we getting 6 volts here now? Yes. If I solder this wire back on, is this thing going to turn on? In fact, I just touch it on, can I? No, it's still not. This thing is massively trolling me right now. So do we have the 6 volts down here? Yes. And where do they go on the other side? Now, now we can do what we should have done before. Six volts here. Yes. 
six volts here. Yes. Six volts here. Yes. Six volts here. Yes. Now that's a little transistor. So I presume coming out of that, we should have, that's half a volt. That's not a lot, is it? So we've got six volts going in and only half a volt coming out. In fact, it's not even half a volt now. Yeah, 0 0.5 volts. So that will presumably be there as well. Yep. All right, well, that isn't going to be enough to power this, is it? I wonder if it's that. Right, let's disconnect that power wire. And let's see if we can measure this. It's this little transistor here, which is actually red hot. Let's see if it's still hot, and this is without there being any power on. Yeah, it's still red hot. 50 degrees, and that's without power to the board. Just double check that that's where the heat's coming from. Yep, 100%. Let's just see how hot it gets with 6 volts going into it. Yeah, look at that. 65, 60, 70, 70. Wow, 80. What on earth? That's pretty hot. Right, let's take that out. Yeah, I can feel it. Wow. Cook your dinner on that. It's mooing solder sucker time. Nice, let's get it under the microscope and see what it is. And that is exactly as I suspected. The markings have come off because it's obviously got that hot. Either that or it didn't have any markings on at all. But yeah, I don't know what to replace that with. I can't see anything on that. So let's just get some isopropyl alcohol on it. No, I can't see anything there. Damn, I think I'm just going to have to take an educated guess as to what that is. Actually, I'm not convinced this is the problem. If we look at this, we've got a reading of 0.69 voltage drop. If we flip the leads, we get nothing the other way. However, I get nothing there, and with the leads flipped, I also get nothing there. So I don't know. Let's try these two. Yeah, 0.68 that way. And nothing that way. I think that might still be working. In which case, that would point to it being something else on this board. Let's see if anything else gets hot without that connected. Let's put the power back in. Does anything get hot now? No. No, it doesn't. All oh, right, okay, so immediately after that, it goes into this, which is again, some kind of MOSFET. And that does have markings on NEC D882. Yeah, I wonder if that is, uh, is faulty. Let's see if we can measure it in circuit. So, multimeter in diode mode. All right, we get a read in zero that way zero that way open 0 0.5 hmm 0 0.5 hmm it's giving me some funny readings it's moving around yeah not convinced by that let's take that out Let's just see if we get any different readings now this is that circuit. So diode mode, 0 0.5, switch the leads. Okay, that's good. Open, switch the leads, 0 0.5. Zero, zero. I don't know, can you tell? My money's on this. I'm gonna see if I can order one and then we'll have to come back to this video. Fade. It's been several days now and my parts have arrived. 
had to order 10 of them, as you do. Um, so that is the replacement for that. So I'm now going to pop one of those in. I'm going to put the original transistor back in because I do think that might be okay. And then we'll give it a try then. See what happens. You never know. Let's do it. Oh, I made a right mess of that. Far too much solder. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm going to put my bench power supply on with six volts, so I don't have to reconnect the batteries. I'm turning it on now. Okay, where's the switch? Here we go. <laughs> okay, I think that's gonna work. So it was that all along, which is nice. Get in. Probably shouldn't get too far ahead of myself. I haven't put it back together and tested it properly yet, but let's do that. Right, let's see if this bad boy works. It's very loud. You were right, Colin. And obviously on your screen it's all wibbly wobbly, but with the naked eye, it looks absolutely perfect. Right, level select, level one. Oh yes. Wait, what, is that it? Okay, I got 70 points. Colin got 999. No idea how you did that. Stupid invaders from space. It took several days for my parts to arrive Since I ordered them online 